Adeline's love of heels is out of control. If she's going to manage on her £50 allowance for both shoes and clothing, she'll need a will of iron. Keen to learn more about her passion, Jay has asked Adeline to reveal her collection. And it's an impressive sight. Let's have a look. Wow. This is the shoe collection. Wow. When you see them sort of all out like this, what do you think when you look at them? I feel quite pleased. These ones have still got the price on. I know. I haven't worn them yet, but they were a bargain. And did you get them because you liked them or because you thought they were a bargain? I oh, know. I really like them. I just haven't had an opportunity to wear them yet. And how long have you had them? Three or four months. Right. These are very clean here as well. Mm. They look like they haven't been walked about in very much. They haven't really been worn at all. Not at all? No. And how long have you had this pair? About four years. Four years and you haven't worn them? <laughs> but you don't need any more shoes. You don't need that pair of bargain shoes. If I took that away, it's not like, oh gosh, there's a real missing element there in the shoe That's department. That's true, but they are really nice, aren't they? But how much is unusual and nice going to be important when you're trying to pay back this debt and you want to start feeling that you haven't got this debt round your neck all the mm -hmm. time. I see what you mean. What we should be doing is thinking about ways of prioritising purchases rather than just thinking, there's a pair of shoes, I'll buy them because they're shoes. I can't promise anything. Sometimes you just see them and you have to have them. <laughs> Jay wants to teach Adeline how to stick tight to her new shoe allowance. First, Adeline must decide between buying in bulk on the high street or buying fewer, more pricey pairs from designers. OK, Adeline, come through the door. Now, shoes. Jay's taking Adeline into a top Brighton boutique to prove that it can be as simple as one, two, three. I just want you to stop for a minute, OK, because this is going to be a new way of shopping with you for shoes. What we're going to do is start marking them out of ten. Right. OK, so every time you're in a shop, you see a pair of shoes, you have to mark them out of ten of how much you really want them. And then at the end of the day, you can go back and buy the pair that you want the most, OK? okay. Looking at these, what immediately catches your eye? Well, they're all really varied, so there's quite a few pairs that I like. I mean, I quite like all of these, but again, there's some nice ones here. I mean, they're really unusual, aren't they? Now, how many marks out of ten would you give that? I'd probably give that about a seven or an eight. They've got a nice big heel and they look fairly glam. What about these? Yeah, those ones I really like. They're fantastic. They're probably a nine. Oh, <laughs> they're Here lovely, are. aren't they? Gina shoes. This mm. is your ultimate fancy, isn't it? It is. I do like Gina very much. And this is what's been on the fridge for yep. two years. Yep. Ten out of ten. <laughs> They're really gorgeous. Now, that's £325 yes. for one pair of shoes. If you want this type of shoe, you're going to have to really pare down. And you also might want to be thinking about buying more expensive pairs of shoes that are going to do more jobs than these are. Because mm. these are only really glittery evening-y. That is probably something you're going to get a bit more wear out of. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I could almost wear those to work as well. How many marks out of ten for those? They're not quite as glamorous as the other ones, but I think they're probably an eight or a nine. Have you ever tried on a pair of Gina shoes? No, I haven't. This whole Gina thing has been such a fantasy for you, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at those Lovely, twinkle toes. Yeah, they're nice. Yes, they're really nice. <laughs> so now you've got them on your feet, marks out of ten. I still really like them and I'd still give them an eight or a nine, but in terms of price, I think I'd have to give them a one or a two. <laughs> Do you think that you could target right back on all your £60 pairs? Is it worth it for these? That's a difficult one. I'm not sure. The key to this whole thing is choice. You're in control of your own money. So if you can do the sort of marks out of ten and prioritise where you want to spend your money, there's no reason at all why you can't have a couple of pairs of these along with other things. What you can't do is buy a pair of these and all the other purchases. Jay has provoked a surprising response from Adeline. 
with a monthly shoe and clothing budget of just £50, Adeline realises it will take seven long months of saving to afford her favourite heels. It's a big wake-up call for Adeline.